All right, it's one last midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. It's been a while since we've talked about Astroneer, but Joe has been a busy boy. And he's done a lot of live streaming over the last couple days. First thing, let me just get this out of the way. You know, everybody's focused on when is the next update going to come out? What When are we going to see, you know, the big missions and big power update release? And that's going to happen at the end of March. Sometime in the end of March, hopefully that doesn't slip into April. But System Era is shooting for the end of March. Now, over the last couple of days, like I said, Joe's been very busy. And so he he did kind of like a you know surprise stream where he just played for a long time. And he was really going through the whole mission interface. And so that's that's something that's going to be introduced in March. It's not a new feature. He's kind of shown that feature off, but he really showed it off while he was doing that live stream. It kind of walked you through like some of the very beginning and first missions and stuff like that. So that's kind of interesting to watch. If you guys go back and you want to see that video, there's a link in the description below to that live stream, as well as the other live streams that I'm recapping here. The following day, there was another live stream and it had to deal with art. So Matt was on was one of the artists at System Era and they were talking a lot about the processes that go into making some art and how art is made for Astroneer. Now, during this live stream, several things came out. They're not really new. We've known about them because at the end of last month, there was a leak on some of the new items that were coming out, the large wind turbine and the extra large wind turbine. And we've actually seen pictures of the extra large wind turbine before, but I don't ever remember seeing the large wind turbine. And, you know, I might be wrong. That might have been shown before. But but I don't remember it being shown. So he did show off, again, the extra large wind turbine. And then right next to it is the model for the large wind turbine, which is actually really cool. I kind of like the concept of that model. As of the crafting recipes that were leaked last month, the large wind turbine is going to produce 10 units of power per second. And the extra large wind turbine is going to produce 17 units of power per second. That's a lot of power. I mean... That's kind of going to change how your base is going to be designed or how you're going to lay out your base for power, especially on the planets where wind is really predominant. I can see your your base being completely powered by, you know, one or two of these items. Even though we've seen the recipes for the solar array and the large solar panel, those models still haven't been shown yet waiting for Joe to leak those out. He did give a, a new leak, which was kind of cool. Uh, that's this concept of uh, a portable RTG, which everybody's been asking for for a long time. So the official name is QTRTG. <laughs> and it's, it is, it's kind of cute, you know. Uh, it only produces one unit of power per second, but... It could sit on your backpack or can sit on, you know, a vehicle or, or anywhere, you know, you could put it on any single unit slot. This item is kind of a game changer because it, you, if you use this in combination with the portable oxygenator, you could roam the entire planet with ever worrying about half to getting oxygen. So you've become completely untethered. I, I love this concept. You know, I, I like the fact that this QTRTG is out there. You know, another one of the things that Joe showed off while he was playing was the compass. So for those of you guys that haven't seen the compass, that's one of the new pieces of functionality that's being introduced into the March release, the missions and big power. Now, having a compass is critical. I, navigation has always been kind of a little bit difficult. I remember back in the way old days where, you know, if you got lost on a planet, you got lost on a planet. Now that the planets are a little bit smaller, it's not so bad. But the compass is going to be a significant help relocating any beacon or any hab that you might have put down. So no more wandering around aimlessly or following the star band, hoping to find your base or, you know, hoping to come across one of those beacons that that stick up into the horizon. And, you know, you're like, I'm, I'm home. I finally made it home. 
you could definitely find your way back to whatever point of interest you're trying to get to by using the compass. So I love the concept of the compass and I'm, I'm really happy to see that be introduced into the game. There wasn't too much in these live streams. I mean, it, I, I highly recommend going and watching Joe just play. You can get some idea of how the missions really kind of change the gameplay and you know how the compass really helps you with the navigation. I think it's I think these new power items are really going to change, you know, how people set up their bases. So I can't I can't wait to see more. So we've got, you know, a couple more weeks left before this update comes out. There'll probably be more information that's leaked out about the update as time goes on. And I'll be here to give that to you. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.